Discord was right. You bunch of suckers. <laughs> Eat it. But okay, I'm just going to point out before the introduction. So this is a quick overview of the map. It's got a main base. It's got a natural base. It's actually not too different from Yansu, except for, of course, the rocks leading into the main and the wide path at the third. But we'll see how this map goes for both of these players as we get into this. Another Showcraft TV shout-out as we get into this. Of course, they are the ones who put this on. You guys can check them out, showcraft.tv. we got another show match coming up next Friday. For those who don't know, it's $200 between Roots Minigun and, uh, well, no longer, uh, IVD's Apocalypse. So that'll be a lot of fun next Friday. They're putting on a lot of show matches, guys. Give them some love. Please check them out, showcraft.tv. But Dragon, I like what he's doing on this map, Zeph. Let's get an introduction so we can talk about it. Spawning here in the upper right corner of Zephyr Jungle, playing for Clarity Gaming. It is the Red Terran player, Dragon. And his opponent up 2-0 in the series is the Purple Zerg from Complexity. It is Hendralisk. Now, Dragon is going to be going for a two racks by the looks of it, but of course, not knowing the layout of this map, neither player may or may not be expecting this. I don't know. A lot of practice two racks defenses. Oh, sorry, I should get the production tab up. A lot of practice two racks defenses come from maps. Like when you've been two racks mm. on Derelict Watch or like a hundred times, you'll know exactly where to look and what proxy locations to check out. The fact that neither of these players have played on this map before, I love the choice that Dragon made in or in going for a two racks. Yeah, certainly. It's really, really common on those new maps. You play off oh, the no. fact that your opponent doesn't know where to look for it or anything. Yeah, and Hendra is... Hendralisk is, in fact, going for a hatchery first. No pool yet. Yeah. Um, his overlord's actually... Oh, no, it's not heading up north, is it? No, it stopped at his ramp, so he's not going to scout this. Um, the other overlord will make it across the map, but not in time to see what's actually going on. And this is... Man, I've seen so many 11-11s lately, especially on uh, Polar Nights. I think that map certainly has seen its fair share of uh, of 11-11s because it's a new map, because Zergs aren't checking for it. So let's see what happens. Here comes the SCV at about a normal scout time. Ooh, he could actually throw a, a bunker down. Look at that position. Line. Look at the vision between Hendralis' ramp and the natural base. He could oh, throw yeah. a bunker down. Wow. But okay, he SCVs were pulled with that. this. He's going in hard with this. He wants this to win. He wants this to work. Hendros did pull an SCV, or sorry, not a SCV, rather a drone to try and scout, but it's just going to block Ooh. build locations for the time being. Good. And here comes the rest of the drones. This is exactly what he needs to do. Can he hold this off? I wish Dragon would have put a bunker down on the low ground so he had someone to retreat to. But hey, if he can make this work, so much the better. Tries to get a bunker down, but of course the creep pops just in time. Spycore could come down as well, but of course SCV is just on that repair mode to <laughs> keep their brothers alive. Marines chipping away at the hatchery for the time being. No point chasing after the drones, of course, because the drones, if they get the surround off, can really do some damage to the Marines. Yeah. And of course, recognize the spine is going up. Yeah. Oh, he's got to protect the, the Marines, though. The SCVs have oh. got to take this damage. Here come the links. Nice too. mineral they can the bunkers. Can they get the Marines? Oh, he's got a couple more Marines coming oh, wow. down now. If you, can get, if you can get these bunkers up, he'll be in an okay spot. Nice. Oh gosh, I, I love so the position close. there. It was pretty darn good. Can Hendralis stop this? Two bunkers are done, but it's not enough SCVs to repair this. The spine crawler completes just in the nick of time. And Dragon's going to lose his initial bunker. Is it in range of the second one? No, not quite. He's going to target the SCV with the queen. Get that taken out. He is indeed doing that now. And Nobody hides like it in the bunker. The bunker's still going to go down, though, but there's almost no links left. Wow. But I think Hendralis <laughs> should be able to hold on to this. Yeah. He can move his spine crawler uh, forward too, and he's go, gonna yeah. do that now. And it's 14 drones to 9 SCVs. What is the follow up gonna be for Dragon? I think his only choice is to really a GG, either keep typically. going with the CC. I mean, yeah, it's it's over, but. There's so few players that can pull out of a 2 racks yeah. failed like this. QXC is one of the rare exceptions, but of course, he 2 racks is a lot, so he's got a lot of experience with that. Dragon, I don't know, like. I know he does trolley play. I don't know if he's experienced trying to macro out of a two racks before, but it's not easy and it's not fun. He is trying to get that wall off back at home, though, to make sure these links don't run by, but oh no, it's. No, he's building a bunker or a barracks at the wrong spot. Oh god, these links are going to definitely get up in here. Oh dear, I don't think Angelus has even noticed himself. He's just expecting a wall, going to nibble away at those uh, supply depots. Going to head it further into the main now. The Cancels the barracks. Are wow. Yeah, that's. Uh, okay, an odd response, but this is an odd situation. Yeah. Of course, you can deal with the SCVs here with SCV, or you can deal with the Zerglings with your SCVs. This is not a, like the end of the game, but Dragon is not a spot where he's going to be too happy. Marines now come across the field. He will clean this up, but I'm surprised he hasn't started floating the racks to come back home. It's typically the first move you make when you're caught with your pants down like this. 
Certainly. But this is really nice for Hengelus nonetheless. He's forcing some extra lost mining time, trying to pick up a worker if he can, splitting up the lings even to be extra annoying. Um, and he's just back at home droning like a madman, already up to 30 drones, double that of Dragon. And he's even got two spine crawlers as a defensive measure just in case something crazy comes at him. Yeah, I mean, if you guys look, actually, the spine crawlers. It's really interesting to consider this, but the spine crawlers almost even up the resources lost right now because, of course, that's 200 resources plus drones that have been devoted into it. And it makes it a lot closer to like 750 versus 900. Mm. But I mean, realistically, Dragon's not in a lovely spot. But oh, has he recognized the rocks at the back that perhaps Hendrus doesn't know about? I think he um, has. The Marines are coming yeah. in from the side. Well, there's an Overlord that's going to be able to spot for those rocks, sir. And if he pays attention, he'll see them getting damaged if that is indeed the oh. avenue Dragon wants to pursue. But no, it looks like he's going for the creep. And now he knows those Marines are there. Yeah, uh, I mean, he could chip away the rocks. I mean, I'm surprised he's not taking advantage of that. But that is, of course, the speciality of Zephyr Jungle. But we got even more racks coming oh down here goodness. in the south. Well, this is a follow-up I haven't seen to an 11-11 before, and who knows, it might actually work out. He's going for the rocks on the um, on the main now, and another Overlord. Yeah, the Overlord's actually spotting that. I'm not sure if Angel's looking at it or he not. He might not, though, because this isn't, he doesn't oh, get a I signal that it. it's under attack. Yeah, Spine well, Crawler coming in. Yeah. More Spine yeah, Crawlers coming down as well, but of course, one Spine Crawler does not hold off a lot of Marines. It will kill a bunch, but if Dragon is really going to proxy a factory and put down two more racks, Pushing with Widow Mines could be very deadly. Yes, indeed. So we've got a bunch more Lings on the way for Hengelisk, and he should actually be able to hold this off without too much trouble. Um, the Lings don't have speed just yet. He went for the left first, but still, with these Queens, it should be more than enough no, to Dragon zone these Queens out. Yeah. I want to see this work. The Tech Lab, he's going to get a Siege Tank down here. This isn't even Widow Mines like I thought it was going to be. Uh -huh. He's going to Siege up the ram. And he can actually use one of the barracks to fly and give him the high ground vision. That'll be really cool. Meanwhile, the spy crawler is taken out. Again, these legs without speed are going to have a hard time connecting on top of the Marines. Uh, he's still not getting speed. He has the money for it. He's waiting for his infestation pit, but he... I oh mean, god. A fungal. <laughs> it's weird to consider. Like, there's so many weird things that are happening right now because this is far from typical play. And I actually really enjoy the fact that Hendrix is responding to unconventional play with his own unconventional play of getting very yeah. early infestors. Cool. There we go. We finally have speed coming down. The third is being beaten on by a couple of Marines. The other Marines are trying to do damage at the spine crawler where they can. And they're Oh yeah, my god, it's not even gonna be that. it's not even gonna be investors, he's going for swarms. Wow. Which is really cool because they are actually incredibly so cool. effective versus bio. Oh my gosh, I love this map. Such a troll map. This and is gonna be really awesome to see what happens. Swarm host is actually kind of perfect to push this back. Already retreating the spine crawler as he buys himself some time while that siege tank starts to chip away at whatever it can find. Yeah, this is going to be really odd, awkward. It is seven swarm hosts about to pop. But you guys got to remember the locusts that come out of the swarm host, they basically spawn two hydralists at a time. The only difference between a locust and a hydralist is the range it has. It's got the same DPS and the same attack speed and the same actual damage. Yeah, oh, these marines do so much DPS, so the spine is going to fall. The other one is going to get cancelled. And now there's only really queens and a few swarm hosts. And you know what? I don't think all these swarm hosts are synced up, though. If only three waves of locusts are coming at a time, Dragon can actually hold that off with two siege tanks. But these queens oh, are doing queens. damage. Yeah, without medevacs, they're actually going to do okay. There's no more transfusers left, though. There should be another one in about 20-ish seconds on that uh, last queen there. But Oh my god, this I mean, is so awkward. Dragon has got a really nice position on these siege tanks. Certainly does, but more swarm hosts roll in. If he could uh, maybe sync them up a little better. That's uh, of course, has to burn a scan, but he burns it as the locust spawns, so he can't advance on top of them. Yeah. And there we go. He's slowly starting to push it back now. The locusts trading beautifully, of course, for units. It's good to trade for any units that cost money. <laughs> Dragon going the wrong way. Why is he going knowing he retreat oh, to the no. south? <laughs> Oh my god, this is super weird, but super cool, because again, Hentros, he's got that third base up, but I think he's responded to Dragon in a very appropriate manner, where he's like, yeah. tit for tat, weird for weird. During Locust is, of course, finished, so the tanks have got to, I think got to run really far away to get away from those Locusts. And now Hentros has actually seen all those buildings there, and he's like, man, all I have to do is keep sending Locusts down there, he's, he's going for drops. Gonna he's going for drops! What's he going to drop? Is he going to drop Swarmos on top of the tanks? Like... GG is called. We're not going to get to find out. Angelus oh, will no. go 3-0 <laughs> in this series. Yes, he will. Hopefully Dragon has some uh, other special tactics up his sleeve for Game 4. 
really needs to bring it back. 